Alright guys, I'm uh, headed over to the neighbors uh, to go get his brush hog so I can brush hog out my fence row because I need to get that brush hogged out so that way I can get that stretch of fence put up. Uh, still haven't made it down to get fencing yet. Doubtful I'll get it today because uh, I got people coming out to look at puppies so I don't think I'll be able to, get to go down and get it today either. So Hopefully... Uh, Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday we'll go down and get it and get started. I really got to get the goats over there. So that's what we're going to be doing, guys. guys I got all the chickens out here in the yard because I got to clean the chicken house out it was uh, interesting getting them all out here but we got it done all right guys I got the hen house here all cleaned out uh, I'm getting ready to put a shelf up up here that way I can keep all the heat lamps and uh, chick supplies up there because my barn is starting to get crowded and uh, I just got to clean some space out in there and get the chick stuff out here helps that so yeah, we got this cleaned out. Uh, took a little bit. There was a lot of uh, wet junk all over up in here. So we got all that cleaned out. That's because of the ducks. But now that the ducks got that pool outside, so we shouldn't have that problem anymore. So we'll let this air out. Um, let it air out a little bit, dry out a little bit before we put straw back down. So I'm going to get the shelf built, repack nests, and do stuff like that uh, until this dries out. Stuff that we can uh, do while it's drying out. So. There's the shelf. It's not a fine piece of craftsmanship, but it works and that's all that matters. So as long as it works is all I care about. So we gotta get some wood put in the hayloft and uh I don't know other than that guys, maybe uh we'll we'll figure out what else to do. Uh definitely gotta get that wood in the hayloft though, so that way the sun quits shining on it and trying to warp it. So Alright guys, here's the wood that I needed to get back here, and that's all gonna get put up in the loft, so dad's coming to help me do that. Alright guys, there is uh, all the wood stacked up here and the wind's starting to pick up, but yep, got all the wood stacked. Alright guys, there we go, nice clean chicken house. All the chickens coming in and uh, inspecting their new bedding and they'll ruffle it around and get it all settled. So.
mom was the savior going up and getting pizza while we were working. So we're gonna get take a quick dinner break real quick. All right, guys. I know it's windy, but uh, we got the bed off. So next step is to get the cab off. Go get that other cab. And uh, to get the cab off, we got to take all the fenders and stuff off the front, take the hood off, all that. So we're gonna have to cover the motor with a tarp. But uh, we'll get all that done and uh, get the new cab on here and go to town on getting a flatbed made on here. And we got to wire wheel all this down because it's got some surface rust on it. And then we're going to paint it with some nice uh, black primer probably and make sure there's quite a few coats of primer on it so that way uh, we don't have to worry about it. I'm out here uh, waiting for the chickens to come inside, guys. Uh, they're being a little bit of a pain, but they'll come in eventually. Gets a little bit darker outside, they'll start coming in. So, uh, if you guys like the vlogs, drop a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, both at Hummer's Goats and Yokes. Thank you guys. We'll see you later.